its white cloth is symbolizing the purity that covers them. And the woman should be covered with the purity that comes from the husband as well. As you allow the Lord to be the Lord of your life, you will be able to lead your wife and your children's <laughs> children to purity, to faith, faithfulness. And that, uh, you know, you, sh you should understand that this purity comes from God. And as I was mentioning a while ago, when you put God on top of everything, prioritizing the one who made you, everything will just be fine. And now we will, we will uh, put on the, the cord that will bind them forever. So, yan po, sasakali na. This cord binds you together. And in between this cord is the presence of God. You will never be alone in this marriage journey. God will always be with you. And this is the treasure that we have when we allow God to be part of our marriage. Everything will just be fine. And this cord also signifies that nobody should separate you. Nothing should separate you. Your past, your present, your future, nobody and nothing should separate you. Money should not separate you. Material possessions should not separate you. Any issues should not separate you because you are one. You are one. And to separate each of you will basically kill you, will destroy you. So I pray that you will remain one until the last day. And I will just anoint you. Can, can we just uh, close the, the, the song? This oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. And according to Psalms 23 verse 5, it says that the oil is to anoint the man. I will just anoint the man because he is the leader of the family. It is to anoint you to an office of a leader. You will lead. The woman should never lead the man. To be the man leading the woman to follow God. And so when I anoint you, I pray that you will be separated from the pattern of this world and be totally consecrated for God. This anointing oil is a symbol of consecration, dedication to eternity, to the purposes, eternal purposes of God for your life. As a leader, I will anoint you Brother Lazarus, uh, may I call on the pastors to please join with me? And uh, I will request Pastor uh, Ted and Medelia to uh, offer a, a prayer as well as we will be anointing Brother Lazarus. Thank the Lord for the power and the anointing, ability to the rule. And I'm like, thank you God for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Father God, we thank you. You have ordained this couple to be together. And so, let this couple be covered by the blood of Jesus and be guided by the Spirit of God. They will be both strong, healthy, and happy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
if you have if you have a cloth uh, or, or something, because it, it will surely fall on your face, but that's, uh, no, no, that, this is for you, for you to you. Thank you. Now I would like to request our principal sponsor to please take off the the cord and the veil. As we will now proceed to the candle lighting. Yes, we will be the best. I would like to request the both, both of you to please stand and uh, start lighting your, your candles, please. These candles usually are used to give light when darkness is present. This element is a symbol of light that basically destroys darkness. Light and darkness cannot coexist in the same place. They cannot just be at the same place at the same time. Whenever light shines, darkness will surely flee. They cannot contain light. Jesus refers to himself as the light of the world. And he, as the light of the world, tells us that we are also followers of Jesus, are the light of this world. And those who follow Jesus will never walk in darkness. We will always have that light in us. We will be shining. But there are times that we do not have light. Sometimes the wife will lose her temper with uh wait, wait. yeah just just show them just show them your light just show them your light it's gone you lost your patience you lost your, your temper you lost you know the, the, the vows and you lost everything you're losing your 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 health you're losing you know, you're losing control of everything. You're, you're basically losing light. Remember, you have a husband that you can go to. Do not go to any other person. You can go to him. You can you can light your candle, please. Now you have your light again. Palapakanatin si Lord. But sometimes the man will lose his temper. Sometimes the man will lose his control and don't know what to do. It's darkness, basically, to each other of your family. And when it happens, you should remember that the Lord gave you a wife. You talk to her. You find strength from her. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but again, if both of you lost the light, we shall not do it. You should always remember that in this marriage, God is involved. You can always go back to Him and ask for light. Would you please go to Jesus Christ is the light of the world. We go together. Praise the Lord. Remember this, both of you are source of everyone's joy. You will never really enjoy life if he is not 
about enjoying life. Enjoying loving God. You will never enjoy life Very if she's not enjoying it. You, you both should always remember this. You are living for her and you are living for him. You will never be happy if you live your life for yourself. And we have a saying, a happy wife is a happy life. <laughs> never allow darkness to penetrate. Always remember, God is in the midst of all these things. And He is in control. Wala pa natin ng Diyos. You may now be seated and... We can, we can chat it off. Now I would like to request our coordinator to please uh, help me with the signing of, uh, after they sign, and then uh, help me signing with, with the principal sponsors. And uh, may I request for a song, please, to be played while we have this uh,
So I have now the documents signed by both COFO and the principal sponsors here. And so I also sign this. And these signatures on this paper signify your lifetime covenant to be together. And by the authority vested upon me by the Republic of the Philippines through the Philippine Statistics Authority and the ordination as a minister of the Gospel of Jesus Christ through Regional Holistic Evangelical Ministers Association or RIMA, I declare blessings to follow you and fill you through and through. I declare and pronounce you Lazarus and Rhea, husband and wife. May God grant you fruits of love with mercies and grace that will keep your marriage strong until the Lord returns. And in the name of Jesus Christ, be blessed forever. May your union be blessed forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Palapakan natin ang Diyos. You may now, in front of these witnesses, kiss the bride. Please face the uh, witnesses. May we all stand, please. Uh, please uh, face the, the witnesses. I now present to you, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Lazarus Ozonis, whom God has joined together. Let no man separate. Let us congratulate them. Lulu. Kabuta pa makausap. Man. Palapakan po natin. And of course, our principal sponsors, we have Sir George Kiramides and Mamfe Kiramides. And we would like also to thank the grandmother Eugenio Kilitorio. We have Winifredo Kilitorio, the father of Miss Rea. Thank you, Bo. And we have the sister of Rea, we have Soralyn Canales, Mirasol Mina, and the brother we have William Mina, Christine Michelle Kilitorio. So, meron nung po tayo sa sabihing uh, facts about Greece. The facts about ancient Greece. So, for our information, ang um, Greece, sila po ang nakaimbento ng yoyo, which is considered the second oldest toy in the world. And of course, the flag of Greece popularly referred to as the blue and the white, which is officially recognized by uh, uh, Greece, one of the national symbols, which has nine equal horizontal stripes of blue alternating with white. The center of civilization in the world is located in Greece. Kung mapapansin po natin, meron po tayong flag sa unahan, katabi po niya, yung Greece and the Philippines, of course. So we have also facts about the Philippines for for the information of Sir Lazarus and of course 
Sir George, this again, Mom Fe. Of course, Philippines consists of 7,107 islands and more. The home of the beautiful ladies in the world. The home of beauty queens. Palapan po natin ang mga Pilipina sa Pilipinas. And we are known as the Pearl of the Orient Sea. Dito po sa Pilipinas, sa tagpuan ng pinakamalating perlas sa buong daigdig. That is why we are known as the Pearl of the Orient Sea. So, we are going to ask some uh, messages. Oh, Victoria Sumuna. Okay, Victoria Sumuna. And then later part, we'll be having some messages, some special messages po sa ating new libre, our couple. Lazarus and Rhea. The goddess of the strength. We have goddess night. And gagagawin niyo po si goddess of beauty, love, and fertility, goddess Venus. So best wishes. A greeting. This greeting means to keep you well. Which is consistent between the bride and the groom. Congratulations. So the home of the great warriors, looking this in Greece. And the home of the beautiful people is located here in the Philippines. So, sa ngayon, yung uh, mauna mag-picture po yung first family. Susunan po ng mga uh, per uh, pastors po and of course, our principal sponsors. Maraming salamat po sa ating uh, first family. Family of Miss Rhea. And now, <laughs> Sir George and Ma'am Faye Kirimedes. Tapos na po ba ang mga pamilya ni Miss Rhea? Ni Ma'am Rhea? Okay, so we follow Sir George and Ma'am Faye. The picture po. Thank you.